everybody as it's a live video uh -huh. and it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday night here in Wake Georgia. And ridiculously, Maria I've been to VidCon, so I've been to a YouTube conference today Who and I forgot to do my vlog there. I went to a mum VidCon, so you Who might not. Do you know Lad Baby? He's a good one. There was lots of really amazing... Oh, no, sprinkled glitter, I don't think, were there. Um, I know, sorry. But I, I did have some fangirl moments. There were really cool YouTubers there. What, um, ones what's that a I girl watched. YouTuber? A girl YouTuber. Um, there was a girl called Isis, a girl called Emily Norris. Uh, there was a boy called Nobody Daddy. <laughs> And I feel like I've had a boob job whilst I've been away as my I've not been feeding. Um but anyway, hello Ari, come here. Um I wanted to quickly talk Mama, about to I actually like to you that those two voices, one of them was Ari, the oh, second one was Ari. I actually want to talk about mental health fitness, which is different. Mental health is different from mental illness. Mental illness you need professional support, maybe medication, um, and mental health is something that we all have. We've all got mental health. And I've been reading a book recently on mental health fitness and improving it. So I've been trying to challenge myself when it comes to testing like my anxiety and whether I can travel so rather than stopping myself from traveling full stop I have given up driving if you know my story I gave up probably about three years ago Um, it's a mixture of mental illness and also dyspraxia Um, but anyway oh, right. this dress is lovely but it is not breastfeeding friendly I saw I saw you down down and um, but i'd love to know if you've done anything so for example my favorite quote is feel the fear and do it anyway and um, so today as i said i went down to london and i get really anxious about going down to london i love london um well i love what's there the people um, but the city I don't, it's too busy for me and scary and tubes scare me. Um, but I did it and I'm what so glad because it? it was well worth it. What is that? Mum gets scared going to London on the train, on the tube. And um, yeah. the but suit? hey everyone, um, but I think it's really important to try and push yourself but not push yourself too much, hence why I will not drive and do not have any plans to drive because it does cause me a lot of stress and anxiety and I don't want to feel unsafe. But something that I was talking about today was um, I put it as putting yourself outside your comfort zone. And I met a lovely other uh, vlogger called Holly Matthews. Make sure you check her out. And she was saying, actually, your comfort zone isn't staying at home and not doing things that you enjoy because then home actually isn't safe because it becomes somewhere that's trapped you and um, is making you avoid things. And she's right because actually if I had stayed at home, I would have really, really regretted it and I would have felt really awful um, and I, yeah I just I'm really glad that I went because it's given me a bit of confidence to go and it was really special because um, they were talking about my anxiety attack video that um, was put out on channel one and that was apparently went into about 2200 different news articles worldwide and it's been up for an award so it was really amazing because you kind of think I always get intimidated by YouTubers because I always think everyone's got such a nice house and perfect face um, and not to scream like mine do and get excited and whatnot. And um, here's me um, with lovely but loud crazy kids and a messy house. I have no island in my kitchen. I have 
mess everywhere. I am no Mrs. Hinch, sadly, as I clean, I don't clean as much as I should. Um, I just kind of survive and thrive with my mental health. Um, so this week I was actually diagnosed um, with acute polymorphic psychotic disorder. So I'm not talking about um, improving my mental illness just by pushing yourself because that's too simple. It's not just about talking to people about my mental illness. It's um, it needs professional help. I'm not saying talking doesn't sometimes help. I know blogging for me has been a massive lifeline talking to you guys. Um, but yeah, this is about mental health and pushing yourself. And so I always was told by um, a counsellor to ride the wave. So whether it's like addiction or bad habit or urges, so basically you get the urge and then it it comes up and it, it reaches this like crescendo of you want to do it, you, whatever it is, um, whether it's harming yourself or uh, making yourself sick or eating something that's bad for you if you're poorly or whatnot. Um, but basically the idea is that with every wave it goes down as well. Um, and it, it's hard, but it's actually true. Um, and I really do try and visualise that riding the wave. It doesn't always work. Don't get me wrong. I have had a lifetime of different addictions and illnesses. Um, and it's not quite as simple as just riding the wave all the time. But on a day-to-day -day basis, it is when it comes to urges, unhealthy things that don't yeah, it is thinking about that wave and visualising that. Um, so I definitely would encourage everyone, because we all do have mental health. Um, it's not like a taboo subject. We do have mental health. I would encourage you to look after it. And as I use kettlebells, where's my kettlebell? It actually matches my dress. got this new Cranmillan dress from sales. Um, kettlebells as I like to do a good kettlebell swing and um, the idea of training is that you're improving all the time so it's the same with urges the more you resist that urge um, and you get out of those bad habit cycles um, it just becomes more normal um, and with Christians Against Poverty I did a course it was similar to like Alcoholics Anonymous and um, so they followed it on the same steps um, and that was really good because that looked at challenging one bad habit a week um, and it could be anything. So it could be as, by Ariana and Jasmine, it could be as simple as, for me, stuff like eating dinner at the table and trying to be more organised to get us to eat dinner at the table. Um, that might be your aim that week. Um, and then focus on that and eventually it will become habit and um, so it's really really I find it really interesting so I'd love to know what you find helps your mental health and as it's coming up to Valentine's Day tomorrow or Galentine's Day Valentine's Day to Galentine's Day and um, I really do encourage a day of self-care because if you love yourself you're able to truly love others as well so please look after yourself and love yourself and I need to do what my nurse told me which I used to do is write positive affirmations in lipstick on my mirror I do look even more crazy when visitors come around um, but it does work telling myself that I love myself every single day so I love you guys and I love myself even though that's really hard to say but I'm practicing I'm riding that wave anyway See you all soon. Thanks so much for watching as ever. Please do comment, like and do subscribe. I'll see you all on Friday.